Hello and welcome to this second lecture on differential equation of the form d2y by dx square. In the last learning video we have already taken one problem and before that we have discussed the working rule. Okay, so I would like you to remember the working rule because that working rule would be very handy in solving the problems. Okay, so I am taking the another variety of problem on the same topic. So let us see what this problem is. So this problem says solve d2y by dx square equal to e to the power minus 2y and we are given a condition that will we will make use of for getting the arbitrary constant or the value of the arbitrary constants. So how to start with? Do anyone remember? So the very first step of the working rule says that write the given differential equation. So you can write the given the given differential equation is given differential equation is and what is that differential equation yes d2y by dx square is equal to e power minus 2 times of y next the second step says multiply throughout or both the side by 2 into dy by dx so you can just write multiply multiply 2 into dy by dx on both sides on both the sides we get so what we get we get 2 into dy by dx into dy by dx whole square is equal to 2 into e to the power minus 2y into dy by dx. Simple. Now what is this? Now you are smart enough to write down the next step. This is nothing but ddx of what is it? ddx of yes ddx of dy by dx whole square simple. 2 into e to the power minus 2y dy by dx. Okay. Now the next thing is to integrate. Correct. On integrating, on integrating, we get. So on integrating, we get. What is it? Derivative get cancelled with that. So we remain with dy by dx whole square is equal to what is it 2 into e to the power minus 2y derivative get cancelled so we remain with integration okay integration so what is its integration there dy by dx whole square is equal to 2 e to the power minus 2y divided by the coefficient of y that is minus 2 plus some constant of integration. So this gate cancel with this and at last what will be getting? We will be getting dy by dx whole square is equal to minus e to the power minus 2y plus c1 and say this is to be my equation number 1. Okay. Now what I am going to do here is I am going to apply the given condition. So what, what given condition we can apply? As you can see dy by dx over here. So I will apply dy by dx equal to 0 when x is equal to 0 in order to get the constant of c1. So using what is that? using dy by dx is equal to 0 when x is equal to 0 using this 1 imply what does 1 will imply this dy by dx is 0 so we have 
0 is equal to minus e to the power what is y oh we have to apply here condition e to the power okay y is equal to 0 we have to apply entire condition dy by dx equal to 0 y equal to 0 at x is equal to 0 because we have y over here so e to the power minus 2y so it should be e to the power minus of 2 into 0 that is 0 plus c1 so what is it this is e to the power 0 is 1 so we take it to the left you can write that is c1 is equal to 1 then equation 1 becomes then equation 1 becomes what does equation 1 becomes this is my equation 1 I have found out the value of this so this is dy by dx whole square is equal to minus or you can write c1 first so it is like whatever you want to write what do you want to write minus e to the power minus 2y plus 1 okay fine so <coughs> you can write positive first and then this okay so what is dy by dx then therefore dy by dx is equal to under root of 1 minus e to the power minus 2y any doubt up to this so if these things are clear then we can do some manipulations to get the solution so here we have this now apply the variable separable this implies dy upon 1 minus e to the power minus 2y is equal to dx simple so I have taken this dx to this uh, right and this to the left now this is not easily solvable so what I am going to do here is I am going to adjust so multiply and divide by e to the power 1 so I am marking this step this is the adjustment e to the multiply and divide by e to the power y now this is e to the power y dy upon now take this e to the power y inside so this is e to the power y so e to the power y when you take it to the inside can be written as e to the power y whole square which is under root of e to the power 2y okay so when you take this inside it is like e to the power 2y minus e to the power e to the power 2y minus e to the power 2y and already e to the power minus 2y is there 2y is there okay now this is same as e to the power y into dy upon under root of e to the power y whole square minus 1 because when you apply the law of indices over here this is e to the power 0 which is 1 this is equal to dx okay now can you solve it further can you solve it further yes you can solve it but you have to apply here the method of substitution so the substitution that you are going to do here is put e to the power y is equal to t this implies e to the power y dy is equal to dt okay so what will be getting will be getting okay before that you can just write on integrating okay after you get this you can just write uh, on integrating on integrating you can write so I am just uh, writing like this so this is uh, integration of e to the power y dy is dt upon under root of what is this e to the power y t so this is t square minus 1 square is equal to integration of 1 is x plus say c2 
I would like to recollect, uh, I would like you to recollect one formula which is the integration of 1 upon under root of t square minus a square t square minus 1 square dt is equal to cos h inverse of t. Okay, so I am going to make use of this uh, result. So, on integrating this integration of this is uh, can write uh, okay so what is it this is integration of this integration of this is cos h inverse of t is equal to x plus c2 what is t t is e to the power y you can write that is cos h inverse of e to the power y is equal to x plus c2. Pains are not working. Okay. So, say this is to be my equation 2. Now, I am going to apply the condition, given condition. So, using using y equal to 0 at x is equal to 0 we get so what you will be getting when you apply this you will get cos h inverse of e to the power 0 is equal to 0 plus c2 e to the power 0 is 1 cos h inverse of 1 what is cos h inverse of 1 is 0 so this is cos h inverse of 1 is equal to c2 cos h inverse of 1 is 0 this implies c2 is equal to 0 simple now after getting c2 is equal to 0 you just substitute in equation number 2 equation 2 becomes what does this equation 2 becomes cos h inverse of e to the power y is equal to x. So, what is e to the power y? That is e to the power y is equal to cos h of x. This is the required solution. Okay. So, I hope this problem is clear to you and to uh, get this problem the two important things is uh, two important things are one is this formula you must remember and the second thing the adjustment we have made during the problem solving so i hope uh, this is clear to you so thank you for watching and have a good day